So hey guys, today's video is on how to study the leadership and aerospace modules. So it's a pretty straightforward and simple process. It is much like just studying for a typical test. So now for those of you who do not know, there are 25 questions, they're online, and you have 30 minutes. And I'll leave a link below to how to take those tests online, just in case if you've never done them before. So when you're first starting, you're just going to want to open up your book. So like right here, you got your, this is my aerospace, and all the the best way to do it is to literally just start reading through. So you got your introduction, and then you got, okay, you got your learning outcomes. So this one says, describe the relationship between Bernoulli's principles of, and Newton's law of motions and how they were used to develop the machine that could not fly. So these are what they really want you to learn in this. So what I do is I just, as I'm going, or beforehand, I read these and I just highlight as I go. And that's really helpful, especially when going back and studying for things like your Wright Brothers, your Mitchell, your Earhart, your Spots, things like that. So you can always go back and see what you were studying then and what. So you don't have to redo the steps. And then there's an important terms, which you can just have in general knowledge. And these will help you as you go on to do other modules and other things that you're learning. So now if you move on to the back, okay, and then as you're going, there's other things like right here. This is part three of the book one. And so it has the same things again. It has the learning outcomes and the introduction terms. So just go ahead and learn these. And there's only about 20 of those throughout the book, depending on the module that you're doing, but they're really helpful and they will make you ice the test. And remember the test, as long as they're not a, the achievement tests or the, the, as long as all online tests are open book. The Wright Brothers, Mitchell, Earhart, and Spots are not, and the, those are the milestones, and they're not open book. You have to take those at your squad. So for leadership, it's fairly similar. Okay, so you have the same thing, objectives. So right here it says objectives and explain what its professionalism is. So what you do is you just go along and highlight as you're going to do that. And then a lot of this is just your personal, what you think is important. So here we have more objectives. I mean, if you think that servant leadership is really important and that there's a big chunk of information on that and that's a really important part, then go ahead and study that. Because even if you're not learning it for the test, you're learning it for the practical so you can turn around and use the skills. It's not just something that's useless. These things you can use in your cap career, which is great. And not even just your cap career, your whole life. Okay, and then another part is there's these bold things. So as you're going, there's the objectives, and then there's these bold things, and those are also especially noteworthy or important, and that's why they're bolded, obviously. And the little, like, even the little things, like, on the side or whatever, just read the whole thing, and they're really, really, really useful. Okay, so then what I have here is pretty much what I did. I just pulled out so this is chapter seven, leadership test. And so I, objective two, and if you want, you can put the page number near it because if you have any questions on it later, you can always refer back to it. And then it just, it answers the question. I don't even write the question, I just answer it. So that way I just leave it back in my book and I have it for any time I'm going back. And I have one of those for each one of mine. And once you even get higher up and you like know what you're doing, you don't necessarily need to read this. You can just kind of skim it, spend 20 minutes skimming and just jotting down notes or circling or looking up things and you're good to go. My last part is something really awesome that they do. Index. In the back, it's the key terms, uh, authority, what is it, Batman, I and mean, it has everything in here. And so during your test, which is also open book, you can kind of just scroll to the back. Okay, I'm looking up Maslow's psychological needs. Bam, bam, got it. Go. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I think it made a little bit of sense and I hope that you learned a lot and your scores improve. Now, be sure to check out my other videos and I will see you next time. Bye. Oh, one more thing. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe.